Hello, everybody. So I was able to figure out what was wrong with our regular expression, search and replace, the other day. So I'm going to be using Dali's project as an example again. Um, first, we'll do Control Shift H. This is going to give us a find and replace for the entire solution. <clears throat> Make sure that the use regular expressions box is pressed. And I'm going to type this out and explain what I'm doing. And then I've drawn out a little image to help explain it a little more. So I want to find slash s is any white space character plus. So everything in the parentheses is a capture group. We're capturing some piece of text that we want to use again later. And I'm saying capture one or more white spaces. We need to do this because all of our code is going to have probably at least one tab in front of it. <clears throat> so this is capturing all of the tab data before our log. Then we're going to type out what we're looking for. So I want log. I'm going to need to do escape sequence, open parenthesis. <clears throat> Um, parentheses in regular expressions are do have meaning, so we're going to use an escape sequence to say I want a literal parenthesis. And then I want halo scope error, comma space halo level 2. So this is all just raw text that we're looking for. <clears throat> Next we'll have a comma, and I want to capture everything after the comma until the end parenthesis. <clears throat> so with this example, it's pretty straightforward. I could just say, hey, capture all the letters. But if we look down here, this particular log is taking arguments as well. So we want to make sure to capture those arguments also. So I'm going to make another capture group using parentheses. And then I'm going to use square brackets to say I want to find not, so this caret means anything but a new line. And the plus means one or more. So this capture group is going to go from this comma, find everything that's not a new line, and store it in this group. Then we can do an escape sequence to grab the closing parenthesis of the log function and throw a semicolon in there. <clears throat> So this is our regular expression find, and we're going to replace it with uh, dollar sign one, which is our first capture group, log error, open parenthesis, our second capture group, and then our semicolon. So let's see if this works. It might take a little bit of time. Yes, I want to replace all. Well, one occurrence. Well, I guess it found the one I was looking at, but... Oh, no. <clears throat> Look, see? You can see anywhere that we logged an error, we do have this extra space here, which I don't like. Did I do that? So this too must have a capture group. So if you do this, make sure to throw a space here. That means the regular expression will eat the space and then everything after the space will be in the capture group. And hopefully we can, let's do a control shift F to find log error. So you can see all of this code just got replaced. This looks fine. String, 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 string. That's interesting. It even found, even replaced stuff in comments. So if later on you want to comment your stuff back in, this find and replace will fix it. So let's take a quick look at the drawing I did. <clears throat> Not too special. So you can see the capture groups I've marked in blue. These are the actual parentheses being used. This S is a white space character. Plus means one or more white space. 
We have our literal parentheses that are escaped here. Um, all this other text that's not marked, this is just raw text. It's going to search for these exact characters in these exact order. This is our anything but new line. Remember the caret means not. So this is saying find anything not a new line, one or more. And that's it. <clears throat> there are a lot more you can do with regular expressions, but I thought that um, if you ever need to do some complex find and replace, this is a really good tool to use. And if you have any issues with it, let me know.